Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how you can set up the Roku app on your phone. And this is if you do not have a Roku remote. So essentially what we're looking to do is to use our phone as our new Roku remote with our Roku TV. So what we wanna do is first turn on our Roku TV and we're gonna do this by clicking on the power button. It's usually located underneath the center right here. And once we get things powered on, if you already have your Roku TV hooked up to the internet, then whatever internet connection that your TV is hooked up to, that is what you want your phone to also be hooked up to. Now, if your Roku TV isn't already hooked up to the internet, there is a way to do this without a Roku remote. The way around this is gonna be using an ethernet cable to hook in directly to our wireless Wi-Fi router. So one end is gonna go into my internet router, the other end is gonna plug in to the back of my Roku TV in that ethernet port. After hooking up the ethernet cord, one end is coming out of one of the outputs here on my wireless router. And then following this ethernet cord over to my TV. And it's plugged in right here to the ethernet port in the back of the TV. Once it was all hooked up, it took maybe about 10 seconds or so, but you can tell when it officially connects because we can see this clock up here, it said not connected. And then after about 10 seconds or so, after plugging in the ethernet cord directly, it changed over to the time indicating that we're now hooked up to the internet. Now I need to make sure that my phone is hooked into the same internet as my Roku TV. So dragging down the top screen area, and I can see that I'm hooked up to ASUS 22, that's the wireless router that I'm connected to, which is the same internet that my TV is hooked up to with that ethernet cable. It's very important that you're hooked into the same internet connection with both your phone and your Roku TV so that they can communicate with each other. Now at this point, we need to download and install the Roku app. If you're on an Android device, you can look this up in the Google Play Store. If you're on an Apple device, it should be in the App Store. And once we have that downloaded and installed, we're gonna launch the Roku app. You can go through the initial setup process if this is your first time opening up the Roku app. You can log in to your Roku account or continue as a guest. But once you get to this main menu in the Roku app, what we want to do is go down to the bottom right hand corner and click on where it says devices. This is where all of the Roku devices are going to show up that are hooked up to the same internet connection that your phone is hooked up to. So the Roku TV that I'm using in this example is that 55 inch Roku Plus series TV. So to connect to this device, all I have to do is click on it right here. And then it's successful once you get this green circle that says connected. And to open it as a remote, we can click on the remote option right here. And this now allows me to use this phone as a Roku remote with that Roku TV. And I was able to set all of this up without having a separate remote. And you should be able to do the same if you follow the steps in this video. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. And I'll see you back here next time.